Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, we will show you how to install guys heat receiver on Volkswagen Tiguan guys, first generation year from year 2007 all the way to 2017 guys. If you have a Volkswagen Tiguan and you need to install heat, this will be very helpful video guys. We will cover everything from start to finish. In addition guys, all the tools and parts that we use and the heat, you can find the link in the description of the video below for your convenience guys. Now, quick introduction to the channel guys. Every single car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 free repair videos on Volkswagen Tiguan itself guys we'll probably have more than three to four hundred repair videos and why we do all that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can all we need in return guys please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing these free videos to you guys now this is guys the hitch let me show you what it looks like and we'll show you guys how we are going to install it on that 2014 Volkswagen Tiguan it comes with everything that you need okay this is the uh, hitch receiver itself Okay, you can see right here and comes with the harness, bolts, instructions, manual, what you're going to need, 17 millimeter socket guys, you're going to need a knife and you're going to need a torque wrench because we'll need to torque the bolts to specific specifications that is shared in the manual. So we'll go ahead start on that and we'll explain as we go. So we're guys ready to install the hitch now let me introduce you quick guys okay this is the manual right here and according to the manual guys we can okay we will need to uh, cut a piece out of the bumper you can see this is the grooved area the one that we need to cut it's right here uh, 165 millimeters or point okay 6.5 inches six and a half inches guys uh, starting from the right side and you're going to come all the way okay to the left side 165 millimeters or uh, you're we're talking about okay about six and a half inches guys so that will be right in the middle okay that cover so let's move a little bit so i can show you what it looks like okay this is the grooved area right here guys now you can see where we matched it okay that's where we're going to put a tape so we know where to cut and our tape will not stick because our bumper actually we use that uh, shine restorer so it's not going to stick but we're going to use the pen okay and we're going to mark it so we can see a little bit better okay perfect and that piece here on the right side now okay let's move a little bit so i can show that piece on the right side needs to come out so we're going to get the knife now okay and we will start cutting guys okay we'll start cutting with the knife and see if we can do that without removing the bumper so now guys we're going underneath okay and i will try to show you so let us show you guys how easy it's to cut okay that plastic it's very soft so it will not take you much to cut it guys it just made to be cut easily So we'll go ahead, cut that piece out and we'll show you what it looks like, okay, once we are done. So let us show you now guys, okay, we're about to remove that piece, okay, it came out, we cut it out, it's ready. So we can continue guys, okay, we'll just uh, clean the area a little bit, you can see it's not visible at all, so that, that's great, okay, that makes it look great because uh, we will not be hanging plastic or anything like that i was afraid but everything is made to fit perfectly fine so far so guys now we have the pre-existing wiring harness okay that we pulled out of okay it was mounted right there on the side what we have to do by the socket right here and we'll be ready to install our existing wiring harness but uh, we actually can do that later okay we don't uh, we don't need to do that so I'll, what i'll do i'll go ahead okay and install it back in okay where it was and push it in until i get the special connector and we'll make a video about it guys and we'll explain how to install that one as well video will be coming very soon on the channel so we're ready guys okay we got the hitch four bolts four washers now uh, check these things out okay the teeth of the washer okay check your menu always consult your menu guys because things change sometimes but in my opinion the teeth should face okay the frame of the car that way they will not get loose guys okay just like that so we have everything ready now what we're going to do we'll grab the hitch okay check it out it goes in an angle like that and now i'll go ahead okay let me grab new light quick 
So, okay, I think we're ready to go this time. We got new light, new battery for the light. I'm going to support it a little bit until one person starts them. Okay, let's see where they are exactly. Because the, the first two bolts that you catch, guys, will be the hardest thing to do. Why? Because that piece of, of the hitch is a little bit heavy. Second, okay, you need to find the hole. Uh, and once you catch two of them, everything should get a little bit easier. Okay, working on the second one now. And now we're going to go to the other side. Just get those tight a little bit by hand, but don't get them tight, okay? Because you need to move the hitch to install the other two. Okay, so let's do that now. Trying our best, guys. Okay, one more to go. This is the forward bolt. Then we'll just get them a little bit tight, okay, to where we don't have any more slack. Okay, with the ratchet here, and then we're going to get the torque wrench, guys, and we're going to torque them down and show you what it needs to be. Okay, so let's just get the slack out of them, and we'll continue after that. According to the manual now, guys, it says that we need to get them tight at 52 newton meters or 38, uh, 38 uh, pound foot okay so we'll go to 52 newton meters on ours uh, and we're going to go ahead guys okay th th that's sheet number one then you have sheet number two three and it explains the sequence of tightening guys okay uh, you have the instructions in Spanish okay and you have this uh, in multiple languages I think French too so you can see one two one two that's how you guys okay I guess you get them tight so uh, we'll go ahead set ours at 52 newton meters okay ours is newton meters five okay let me check to make sure so uh let that's 54 okay let's just go a little bit more okay this way okay perfect and get it tight so now this is a click type wrench when we click uh, when we reach that torque you're going to hear a click when you hear the click you stop immediately guys why because you don't want to over tighten them listen now that's it stop don't go more we just uh, reverse a little bit and come back so you can hear that click but don't go past that point it means that you reach the top listen now again Perfect. Now let's do two more on the other side. Always check your manual, guys. I cannot guarantee this is the correct torque for your specific model, hitch, or anything like that because uh, they change the designs constantly. So always consult with the manual that comes with your hitch, guys. Okay, perfect. Let's retorque all of them one more time. Let's recheck each one of them one more time to make sure that we meet the specifications. Because sometimes when you torque the ones on the other side, those here may get loose so you want to retorque them at least one more time perfect now if you want to see the wiring harness video and connector and where we got it from it will be on our channel guys and we'll try to put a link in the description of the video below so we're done guys as you can see it's installed thank you for watching and see you guys next time